Well, hey there, folks. Tip here, Stupid Gardener. Welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. Well, we're battling the rain today, which is a great thing. We got over an inch of rain from yesterday afternoon um, into this morning. We got some heavy rains this morning also. We really needed some rain down here. It's really been a while since we had our um, a good rainstorm here, so this is just great. Um, but it's a great day. It's overcast to get in here, and we're going to plant our tomatoes. Um, I went out and bought four tomato plants this morning while it was raining, and I got um, a couple of uh, cherry tomatoes. They're called the Husky uh, Cherry Red Tomatoes, and these get a little bit bigger than what the Sweet 100s, if you've ever, ever planted those. I've planted those in the past. They, these Husky tomatoes get about this big and a little bit bigger, so those are great tomatoes to slice up, put in your salad, or you can just eat them just like you're eating cherries. Great, great tomatoes. And then also, I've got some uh, beefsteak tomatoes. Now, if you've never planted these, these are nice and juicy tomatoes. I got two of those, and they get pretty good size. Great slicing tomato for a nice tomato sandwich. Slice them up, put them on a sandwich. You know, great, great tomatoes. So I got four going in. I will be planting more. We're not going to plant as many tomatoes as we did last year. It was very difficult to uh, keep up with, but um, probably maybe put in two, two or three more. Plus, I may have some volunteers that are going to come up. I have them come up every year. So if I have any, I'm going to take those and just transplant them and just let them grow. But uh, I'm going to go over today how we plant these tomatoes and what the different kinds of tomatoes are as far as the indeterminate and the determinate tomatoes and how we plant them. So why don't you come along? Okay, so the first plant that we're going to put in is one of our husky cherry tomatoes that we're going to put in. Now, um, this is an indeterminate uh, tomato, and that's uh, the four that I got today. They're all indeterminate tomatoes, meaning they will grow to an in indeterminate size. So these will keep growing and growing and growing. So these are the ones you want to work on pruning, um, especially when you're first putting them in. And what you want to look for, you want to take off all these lower branches here just snip them all off because we want to plant this tomato deep very very deep and if you see any suckers like i see one right here they're going to come up right in the crux of the armpit of the plant you want to pull those off too and if you look on your tomato plant when you're putting it in you want to notice on the main stem here there's all these little hairs Those are roots, so that's why you want to get this thing and get it in the ground deep so those roots really take off because you really want a good root system in this plant. And then also, if you look on your tomatoes after you buy them, get off anything that doesn't look healthy, like this here does not really look all that healthy. It's got a little mildew on there. We'll take that off. And then also on this one, there's a little flower coming in. Now, some people think, oh, that's great. It's a healthy tomato. I'm going to get a tomato real quick. Now, you want to get that off because you want this, when you first put it in the ground, to just concentrate on growing, not bearing off fruit. So you want to pull that off or cut it off. And you do not need that in there. So you're going to end up with something like this. And I want to get this down probably to about here. So let's get this planted in here. Now, in a, like we said before, in a wood chip garden, you want to make sure that you're planting below the wood chips, below this mulch. So we're going to get all this away, pull out any, that's Bermuda grass. This stuff's killing me this year. And you want to pull the wood chips away and get down into that soil. And you just want to loosen that up. Look at that great worm we just got. Look at that great worm. That's what this garden is just full of. This compost is just full of great, great worms. We'll set him aside and set him back in there. So you just want to loosen that up a little bit and pull it up and get your tomato out of here. 
and set it down in that hole there. And then take all that soil, all that great compost, and get it right around there. And I'm going to come in later with some nice compost and just build that soil up, probably till up, up, up around there. And then that way there, I know I'm getting a great root system that's really going to root this in. And we will get some great tomatoes off of this because we're going to have a great root system. And that's why you want to make sure that you're cutting off any flowers or anything because you want that root system just to be feeding those leaves. You want to go for a lot of green, a whole lot of green before you get the tomatoes. Trust me, you're going to have plenty of tomatoes uh, com coming in on here. And these are the huskies. So I'm going to go ahead and just plant the rest of these. And then we'll come back and take a look at what it looks like. Okay, so we got four of them in. And um, remember, these are indeterminate uh, tomatoes, so they're going to grow like crazy. There are also the determinate tomatoes, which just grow to a determinate uh, size, and then they stop bearing fruit. Uh, but these are all indeterminate, so we should get a nice, long growing season out of these um, tomatoes. So in future videos, we will go over how we prune these, how we take care of them uh, from diseases. You want to make sure that you're pruning up from the bottom and you're not getting any of your leaves hitting the ground uh, because uh, once they do, you can get a disease. It'll go through right through your tomato plant and it, 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 it will kill it or stunt its growth. So um, you just want to make sure you do that. Now, I have planted these about three foot apart only because if you have planted sweet 100s or husky cherry tomatoes, you know how big they get and they will get like this and just start coming over. So you really want enough room to get around them and to prune them and to pick them. You want to be able to get in there and get all those tomatoes off there so none are going bad and you're getting the full harvest off of these. Um, I'm going to come in in a few minutes and I'm going to put a bunch of uh, compost in here on the top um, just to bury that in there as deep as I can because we want a nice strong root system to feed these. And all we're looking for now is just growth and green. We don't not worrying about tomatoes right now. We just want growth and green. So if any little yellow flowers start coming on the next couple of uh, weeks, I'm just going to pull them off because I want these things to grow uh, till they're full and then start uh, bearing the fruit. So, so with that, I guess, hey, if you're not a subscriber, stop what you're doing. Go down, hit that subscribe button. Just follow along with us um, as we plant our garden for 2024. A lot of good things are going to happen this year. Um, and I've been on battling Bermuda grass and everything, but we're getting everything in slowly but surely. And we're almost done getting the whole garden in. Those cucumbers should be coming up soon. So we should see some growth coming over the next couple of weeks. So make sure you come along for the journey. So with that, I guess I will just uh, sign off. This is Tip from The Stupid Gardener. Everyone take care and God bless everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next one.